Hello, space engineers. I want to make a little experiment with get free destination method of uh, my remote control. And as you can see, for this experiment, I have built an array of 100 remote controls. Its size is 10 by 10. And here you can see an array of spotlights, and each spotlight is triggered by corresponding remote control. And we will scan various uh, shapes, build of cubes, to see what uh, get free destination function really does. The first shape will be a single cube of large grid. And from this picture you could think that this cube uh, looks for get free destination function just the same way as it looks for us. Okay, now let's scan a shape build of 4 cubes. And you can see it doesn't look much like a cube. Let's now look at this 4x4 plate. And it's definitely not a cube. It looks more like a circle. And what if we scan a hollowed one? We see just the same circle. No hole. Ok, I guess you probably already know what's going on here. But uh, let's check our final shape. When we look at it from this side, we see just a one cube projection. But what does get free destination function see? Some of you probably expected a four points cube, like in first case. But you can see it's not a four points cube. It's somewhat like a circle. Not a perfect circle, of course, but it is because of low screen resolution, if I can say so. Oh, just look at this. Don't sit too long behind such monitor. You will get yourself green eyes, or no eyes at all. So now we can conclude that get free destination uh, doesn't check uh, intersections with real object. Uh, it uh, checks intersection with bounding sphere of an object. And we won't be able to figure out uh, a real shape of observed object from a long distance. But we still can classify it. We can tell is it moving or stationary and we can tell its size. So something like scanning signatures in the phone line will be possible in Space Engineers.